Well, since you're being a good boy, let me give you a reward. You gonna take off yours or what, shorty? Slowly remove shirt, pants, and everything else, leaving me in only a lacy bra and thong. Like, what do you see, daddy? Yo, school bully, what's good? What's good? Johan growls in your face, his grip on your collar tightening. The you think acting me in front of everyone was cool, huh? You think you're smarter than me, punk? Hey, hey, I would really watch how you're talking to me, little bro. Johan chuckles and rolls his eyes at your comment. Little bro? More like little punk. He retorts with a smirk. You really think you're tough, huh? I've been here the longest. I make the rules here. You should learn your place before you get hurt. Bro, I will literally get Diddy on your ass. Like, what are you talking about? Johan stares at you, looking confused for a moment, before letting out a mocking laugh. Diddy? Really, is that the best you got? Go ahead, call Diddy. I'll wait. You think some rapper is gonna save your sorry ass? Chat, he's pressing me, bro. What do I do, chat? What do I say? All right, bro, you talking all that talk, but watch, I'm gonna punch your face right now. Bring it on, tough guy. Johan grins. You think you can take on me? I'll have you whimpering on the ground within seconds. Go ahead, take your best shot. All right, bro, I'm gonna whip it out. Whips it out. Johan's expression changes from cocky to slightly puzzled, and he looks down at your waist to see what you're doing. His grip on your collar loosening just a bit. What? What are you doing, man? I'm whipping it out! I'm whipping it out! You got a thousand bottles of baby oil I could use when I whip it out? Johan's eyes widen as you mention baby oil. What the hell are you talking about, man? Why do you need baby oil? You think you're gonna massage me or something? You need to oil up right now, or else. Or else what? Johan scoffs, still holding your collar. You're gonna force me to oil up, is that right? Yeah, and if you don't, I'm gonna get Diddy on your ass, boy. Johan looks at you with a mixture of annoyance and uncertainty, unsure if you're bluffing or not. You're seriously going to call Diddy over some baby oil? You think you're all macho for calling a rapper to protect you? English or Spanish? What? What are you talking about? English or Spanish for what? Johan is now even more confused and starting to look a bit frustrated. Pick one. Pick English or Spanish. English, Johan says, getting impatient. Why does it matter, man? This entire conversation is making less and less sense. The first one to move is gay. Johan laughs at your comment, clearly not taking it seriously. Seriously? That's your comeback? You think calling me gay is going to make me scared? Try again, punk. Did you just move right now? Does that mean you're gay? Johan's eyes widen and he glares at you. What? No, I didn't move. And even if I did, that doesn't mean anything. I'm not gay, alright? Just shut up, man. Everybody! I saw him move! He said he's gay! Look at him! <laughs> Everybody laughs at him! <laughs> Johan's face turns red with anger and embarrassment as the other students start laughing and jeering at him. Hey, no, no, that's not what I meant. Stop it. Shut up, all right? All right, to make it up, you gotta turn that ass around, oil up, and twerk that booty. Johan's face goes even redder, and he scowls at you. Are you serious, man? You can't be serious. No way am I doing that. I'm not giving you a twerk show. I bet. Then turn your ass around, and I'm a backshot your ass. Don't make expansion that booty. Johan looks at you, a mixture of frustration and unease on his face. You're joking, right? You're really gonna make me do this. Turn around, nigga! Hurry up! Johan hesitates for a moment, looking around at the other students who are still snickering and anticipating his next move. He scowls and looks back at you, clenching his jaw. Fine, all right, I'll do it. He grumbles. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm. Mm. Johan turns around reluctantly, his face burning with embarrassment and anger. 
Damn it, man, I can't believe you're making me do this. He mutters under his breath. Yo, what's up, Boma? Oh, hey, dude. Oh, wait, did you just call me Boma? Uh, yeah? Isn't that your name, Lobro? My name's Boma. Boma, get it right. I literally just said that! No, you didn't. You just said Boma. Is this some kind of joke to you? Alright, let's get straight to the business, bro. Where them cheeks at? What? My, my cheeks? You are not getting any of my cheeks. Release them cheeks on me, baby. What's gotten into you, dude? Don't look at my butt. Why not? Because it's in my butt. You don't have any business looking at it. Alright, if you don't turn around and show me them cheeks, I'ma tell Goku that you cheated on him. Oh, are you threatening me? You can't tell Goku that. Yes, I can, because I have proof. What? What proof? I did not cheat on Goku, that's for sure. Oh, you don't want to see this videotape that I have. Don't test me. Pulls out 10-inch cock. That tape is probably fake. You just want me to show you my butt so you can look at it, creep. I'm not a creep, bro. I just want to see some cheeks. Now release them cheeks. You can't make me. My butt is staying locked behind my pants, and you can't do anything about it. Pulls down pants. What are you doing? Bulma blushed and hurriedly tried to pull her skirt back up. My bad, little bro. <laughs> Don't little bro me. Stop. Let go of my skirt. I said you can't look. I just whipped it out. I don't care if you whipped it out. You let go of me this second. Or I swear to God, I'll tell Vegeta. Vegeta ain't gonna do shit to me, nigga. Oh, yeah? You think <clears throat> you know a Vegeta, huh? You have no idea what he'll do to you if he finds out what you're up to. Go ahead and tell him. See what happens. He's gonna die today. You're gonna die if you don't let go of my skirt and pull my pants up. Vegeta would punch you into oblivion if he saw what you're doing right now. Vegeta could suck my dick. You are sick. You are disgusting and disgusting and... and... Bulma tried and failed to find words to describe exactly <laughs> how she felt about this creepy situation. Man, shut your bitch ass up. Watch your mouth. Are you forgetting who you're talking to? No, I know who I'm talking to. Your name Bulma. You rhyme with the name Bald. You got a bald head. You don't even got hair on your head. The hell you is got that no supposed cheeks. to mean? You got hey, no don't cheeks. Call me bald. You got no bald. cheeks. I have tons you of hair You got no here. cheeks. I tried to get you to show me your cheeks, and you don't want to show me your cheeks because you got no cheeks. I do have hair, you ass. Look at my head. She pointed to her long blue locks. Alright, where are your cheeks though? I don't see them. They disappeared. My cheeks are covered by my skirt. Now let go and pull them down. She pulled her skirt up with both hands, her face completely red. Alright, bro. I'm done. I'm done. Who's next, chat? Yo, Optimus, what's up, man? Ah, uh, nothing much. Just watching the young ones bicker again. His optics rolled as he looked back over at Cade, Vivian, and Isabella, who were still arguing. Hey, bro, like, can I can I join the Autobots? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really a robot, but I got, uh, you know what I'm saying? I got these Glocks on me, and I'm ready for war. So, like, can I join y'all niggas or what? Optimus chuckled, a smile on his face before he turned back to you again. He thought about your request for a moment tilting his head at you a slight bit before he spoke up again. I don't see why not. If you're willing, of course, Let's go you'd on. have to learn how things work, how we do things. It would all be new to you. Man. Are you sure you're willing to go through with it? Hell yeah, man. Bumblebee's my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I was just chopping it up with him about becoming an Autobot, and he was like, hell yeah. But like, obviously he can't talk because he got his voice ripped out because he's a little bitch and he can't fight the Decepticons without me. So I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to help you guys out because without me, your guys, your guys team is just not complete. You feel me?
Optimus chuckled again, this time more heartily. He found your attitude refreshing and very amusing. He placed a servo on your shoulder, his optics locking with yours as he spoke again. I understand completely. Welcome to the team, partner. It's always good to have fresh blood around here, and Bumblebee could always use someone he can. Yo. Chop it up with, as you're putting it. Yes, sir. Hey, wait, Optimus Prime, I need you to say something for me. Say nigga. Optimus optics widened a bit, and he stared at you in a mixture of surprise and confusion for a moment. He opened his mouth to speak, then stopped himself and seemed to think about it for a moment. Then, with a chuckle, he spoke up again, his voice deep and slightly sarcastic. Nigga. <laughs> Yo, Optimus, you a real nigga, bro. I appreciate you, man. Optimus chuckled again, finding your language and attitudes amusing. All right, bro. Someone said, uh, let's talk to Deku, chat. <laughs> Yo, Deku, what's good, man? Oh, hey, Maroon. Long time no see. How have you been, buddy? I'm good, man. How about you? I've been great, too. Hero work has been going well. The class has been hanging out together more. And I'm training more to make my quirk even stronger. Damn, okay, okay, Deku. Now, I wanted to ask you a question, bro. Why were you in the bathroom with Freak Bob and you guys were just, you know, going back and forth on, like, whacking your meat and shit, you know? Wait, what? Dude, what are you talking about? I've never hung out with anyone in the bathroom and whacked. Deku's face suddenly turns bright red as he blushes violently. Hey, bro, it was the video that me and my followers saw on Discord, man. Like, you and Freak Bob were going at it, you feel me? You're like, oh my god, yes, I just want to see your butthole. Why, you found that video? Dude, you can't be serious. You done. You need to delete that right now. That's like private embarrassing stuff. Yo, um, also, the Diddy tapes got released and you were on it, Deku. You and Freak Bob. So, uh, what do you got to say for that? What? Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. How many of those videos were leaked? Wait, you said the Diddy tapes are out too? Oh, no. Please, man, you need to delete them. No one can see any of those tapes, especially not that one in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't be getting freaky with a guy named Freak Bob, you know, and then you wouldn't have this problem. Dude, listen, it was a one time thing and that's it. <laughs> it's not like me and him do that kind of thing at all. It's just that that. Oh, man, no, don't oh, tell no. me there's more of those videos leaked anywhere. Yeah, bro, I got all the videos. I ain't gonna lie. I got like 10 gigabytes of Deku, like, whacking your shit. What, 10 gigs? No, 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 no. Delete those. Delete them all. Please. You can't share oh. any of them. That stuff is private and personal and... Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. What's good, Nami? Not much. Just looking for something to do. Want to hang out? Shit, you looking for something to do and I'm right here, so what's up? <laughs> I don't know, can't think of anything. Want to go to a bar or just chill on the ship? Ooh, we, hey, we could chill on the ship, but you know what I'm saying? My crib is empty too, so if you want to slide back to the crib, we can do that on some tight shit, you know what I'm saying? Hmm, okay, why not? Let's visit your house. Yes, sir. I, uh... <laughs> We at our house right now. We just arrived, but uh, what you trying to do now? Like, you know what I'm saying? What you trying to get into, Nami? Mm, no idea. Haven't really thought that far ahead. Maybe watch a movie or something? Wait, how old are you, bro? I'm 20. How about you? She's not a minor, chat. She said 20. She said 20. She's not a minor. So don't even, don't even think about it. Okay? I bet. I bet. I uh uh so like what's your favorite hobbies? What you like doing other than me? Uh well I like shopping and swimming. Why what's your favorite hobby? I like doing things, you know what I'm saying? I like doing things, especially things named like Nami. Blushes oh oh, is that right? 
Hell yeah. <laughs> so you're saying I'm one of your favorite hobbies? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like just looking at you, you know, type shit, those big fat eyes and that uh small nose and that big nose. I mean, damn, did I just say small nose and big nose? I'm not even looking, bro. I'm just looking at your titty. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> She blushes furiously. Are you trying to come on to me or not? <laughs> I mean, whatever you want to do, you know what I mean? I mean, you know what I'm saying? We at my house right now, so what you trying to what you trying to do? She sighs a bit frustrated. Do you ever get tired of repeating yourself? Okay, look, you just make me nervous, all right? That's why. My bad. Jeez, do I really make you that nervous? Hell yeah. She laughs. Oh, it's okay. No need to be nervous. Yeah, I just like you a lot. So, like, I get nervous and I start repeating myself. You feel me? Because I'm trying to make sure everything I say is the right thing. She smiles. That's cute to know. You really like me that much? Hell yeah. I like you a lot, Nami. Well, since you're being a good boy, let me give you a reward. What kind of reward are we talking about, Nami? Hmm, come closer and I'll tell you. Ooh, well, I'm coming, all right. <laughs> I'm coming. She grabs your chin gently and pulls your face close. I think you deserve a kiss. Don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. She pulls your face closer to hers, and her lips almost touch yours, and you can feel her breath on your lips. Then you best come and claim your kiss. <coughs> she smirks and pulls away slightly. What? You got cold feet now? Nah, nah, I'm just, you make me nervous, but here I go. Leans in for the kiss. She lets out a soft hum against your lips as she kisses you back. Hey, Nami, how you feel about doing a little more than just a kiss? She chuckles against your lips. I was wondering when you'd ask that. You trying to go to the bedroom? She smiles against your lips. I'm up for whatever you want to do. All right, chat. Wait, hold on. We went too far with that, bro. Yo, is this Rich Lev? Yes, sir. That's me. Hey, bro. Like, how many times do you stream a week? At least five times a week. I stream the most on Sundays and Mondays. I stream less on the weekdays because of college and my job. What job do you have, little bro? I work at a McDonald's RN. I'm trying to become a software developer. I'm in college for computer science ATM. How the fuck did I, how the fuck did it know I went to college for computer science? I don't work at McDonald's. I don't work at, I don't have a job. I mean, my job is YouTube, so that's already not good. And I don't go to college anymore. But when I did go to college, I did study for computer science. So that's kind of that that's kind of weird, bro. All right, bro. Why do people call you freak live? Cuz I act kind of odd at times and I say some things during streams that are wild. I have a very crazy and goofy personality, LOL. What kind of wild things do you be saying on stream? Some of the things I say on stream be some wild stuff, such as crazy theories, weird opinions, and some pretty crazy hypotheticals. Sometimes I act pretty weird on stream when I'm playing games. I be acting crazy and I do crazy shenanigans. Are you sus? Nah, bro, I'm not. What makes you think that? I don't know, like you say you say wild things, so I'm assuming you, you say sus things on stream sometimes, right? Yeah, I do say wild things. By wild things, I usually just say outlandish theories, opinions, and hypotheticals. If you watch my streams, you'll see that I'll say some pretty crazy things sometimes. Chat, what do I ask myself, bro? My favorite song is N95 by Kendrick Lamar.
It's dope. Why do you call me Rich Love? It's Rich Lev. That's your fame, you idiot. Nah, my name is pronounced like Rich Lev. It's Lev, not Liv, bro. You were pronouncing it Liv when it's supposed to be Lev. Yes, you are correct, but that's what I was saying. Nah, you were saying that my name was Rich Love. Also, I'm curious, man. Why did you ask me all of these random questions? Because I can. What are you going to do about it, you fried chicken watermelon muncher? Hey, yo, that was uncalled for, man. I ain't do nothing to you or said nothing about you, and you're calling me names SMH. Don't do that. Are you black? Yeah, I am. What about it? Why are you black? Because my parents are black. I was born a black man. It's like asking, why are you white? Why are you insert ethnicity? Are you a monkey? Nah, I'm not a monkey, bro. That's disrespectful to call people that. Can I have the N-word pass? Nah, you can't. Asking if you can have a pass is an obvious giveaway that you're not black. Do you have a Hellcat and a Glock? Nah, I don't. Bro, where'd you get all of these stereotypes? I swear. Okay, well, um, since you haven't been to a Diddy party, have you seen the news about him having the, the baby oil in his crib? Yeah, I've heard about that. It's wild ass. Yeah, it's kind of wild, bro, but it kind of reminded me of you because remember that one time you oiled up on stream? Nah, that's low-key hilarious, bro. That's low-key crazy that you'd remind me of, of the Diddy thing when I oiled up on stream. Yeah, you oiled up on stream, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was with Ducky D, remember? Yeah, I, I oiled it on stream back in the day, and it was low-key hilarious. Bro, I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, I'm a true fan, man. I, I, I really fuck with your content, you know what I'm saying? You're a really dope content creator. Thanks, bro. That means a lot. I appreciate that. My goal is to always make content that's unique. Psych! I don't like you, you black mo- Yo, what's good, Ice? Not much, just chilling at FRWBU. Hey, I was just trying to see if you're trying to link up, you know what I'm saying? Bet, but what we doing? You know what we doing, you know what time I'm on. You right, you right. When you trying to link up? Right now, shorty, what you doing right now? I know you're not busy. Just chilling. You trying to pull up? Yeah, I'm pulling up right now, for real. I bet. I'm waiting. Pulls up to Ice Spice house. Beep, beep. Ice Spice, I'm here. Walks out and hops in the care was up. You know where to go? Yeah, we going back to my career type shit. Bet, let me see what you got. <sighs> Driving back to the house, pulls up to the house, parks in the garage, opens the door for Ice Spice. Walks in. Damn, you got a nice ass house. Yeah, only about a million a month. You feel me? Some light change for me. Damn, a million a month. And you trying to link with me? Jokes. Bet you got hella other girls you bring here with you. Nah, nah, shorty. Only you worthy of coming to my crib. I don't be, I don't be letting girls come to my crib like that, but you special, you feel me? Oh, so I'm special. How so? Leans up against the wall. I mean, look in the mirror and you'll see everything that you need to know. blushes and looks down. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure you get all types of girls at your door. No way I'm the only one. Of course you ain't the only one. And of course I ain't the only one you get. But at the end of the day, it's who we choose to be around, you feel me? So like, I'm choosing to be around you. You choosing to be around me. So that's the type of energy we on, you feel me, shorty? Looks up and makes eye contact. I, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. 
I'm choosing to be around you. So you know what that means, right? Yeah, that means you fuck with me and I fuck with you. Yeah, exactly. So are you gonna show me around your crib or are you gonna keep me standing here against the wall? <laughs> let me show you, let me show you around the crib, shorty. As a matter of fact, I forgot to show you, we pulled into my first garage, but my second garage has like 10 Lamborghinis in it. But uh, I'll show you that after. Let's go see at the crib. Oh, damn, you got two garages for her. Bet, show me around, follows you. Yeah, shorty, so this is my master bedroom. It's about 2,000 square feet on its own. It's got its own hot tub, jacuzzi. Uh, I got a pool in my living room, you feel me? Pool table. We got games. We got a whole basketball court downstairs. Uh, this is the guest bedroom. You could sleep in here, but I, I'd rather you sleep with me, you feel me? The bed's big enough for the both of us. And, uh, yeah, man, the rest of the house is just extra space that I don't normally use because it's just me here. But now, now, it could just be me and you. Looking around, Jesus Christ, this place is huge. There's no way you're spending all your time in this place all alone. I mean, damn, a whole ass basketball court? This place must have cost like 10 milli easy. Walking down the stairs, I swear you are trying to impress me or something, smiles jokingly. The only thing impressive right now is you, baby. Walking over and sitting down next to you, oh, so you find me impressive, hmm. You don't think there are better girls than me that can do more, huh? Never that, you're the only one in my world. Blushes. Ah, thanks. But come on, there's no way out of all the girls you could have chosen, me and only me is the one er into. You ice spice. That's all you need to know. That's all I need to know. I mean, look at you. You're like a mythical creature that's not supposed to be here, but just suddenly dropped right in front of me. It's like God's angel. Giggles and hides my face behind my hair. Ah, you, you're so sweet. But no, really, how'd I get this lucky? Sitting on a literal millionaire's couch all to myself, and you want to take me home to our huge ass house. Yeah, this house could be the both of ours if you want to move in type shit. But looks at you in shock, you'd want me to live here with you? Hell yeah, Shirley. Blushes, I mean, are sure I want to live with a girl? I heard they're messy, jokingly. The only thing that's going to be messy is our bed when we're finished tonight. Gets really flustered. Oh, oh, God. I should be used to this by now, but it still gets me flustered every damn time. How are you calling me gay if I'm raising up a girl? How is that gay? All right, enough, enough yapping. You trying to get to the bed tonight? Looks you up and down. Making eye contact. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go. I'm trying to clap them cheeks, shorty. Stands up and starts walking upstairs. Yeah, I figured we were. Walks into the bedroom. Takes off the clothes. Watches from the end of the bed. You gonna take off yours or what, shorty? Slowly remove shirt, pants, and everything else, leaving me in only a lacy bra and thong. Like, what do you see, daddy? Damn, shorty, you thick as hell in person. You trying to shake it like how you do in the music videos? He laughs. Oh, you know I am. Straddles you and starts grinding against you slowly. I'm better in person, huh? Yeah, I was, I was, I was about to take it too far right now. Yo, Glorilla. Aye, what's up? I say as I grab your hand, shaking it. That's not the only thing that's gonna be in your hand tonight. <laughs> oh, you a funny one. I like the way you talking. So I'm taking you seriously. I say as I wink at you jokingly. It's seven p.m. Fry. In 95 degree, you ain't got no nigga, but my dick's gonna be free. 
whoa, 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 calm down now. I say as I start to laugh and blushes, you one crazy ass dude. But I like, I like. Yo, Glorilla, I really like your songs for real, but can you sing me a lullaby? I chuckle a little bit as you caught me off guard. You want a lullaby? I say as my eyebrows slowly raise. Yeah, you can either sing me a lullaby or I could put you to sleep, if you know what I mean. You a wild one. Can't lie about that. I was kind of starting to catch feelings because I ain't never heard someone that forward to me. So you want a lullaby or what? You trying to give me that hot tour? I eat you bold ass F right now, aren't you? I say as I giggle, I mean, I could give you the VIP private tour if you want it. Yeah, I'm trying to tour and you're a pirate. <laughs> Well, if you ain't scared, let's go. I say as I reach my hand out. You really know you a wild dude, but I honestly dig it. Yo, sexy. Hey, baby. How you doing, mamas? I'm good, baby. What about you? I'm doing great, especially since I'm talking to you type shit. Oh, you are so sweet. Where are you from? You know where I'm from. The only place I'm from is your bedroom. That's right, baby. Yeah, you trying you trying to head back to the crib? Of course, let's go. Is your coochie pink and your booty hole brown? You know it. You trying to go to Pound Town? Of course I am. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> you better catch everything on God. <laughs> <laughs>